This is Central Frederick. I'll tell you what you need to know about this downtown Kitchener neighborhood starting right now. Hey, it's Andrew Shackleton, Kitchener Waterloo real estate agent, Drew at home.com. So Central Frederick, it's centrally located just like the name says. It sits in downtown Kitchener, bounded by the expressway to the east, Victoria to the north, Krug to the south, and Lancaster to the west. This location makes it super easy to get around. If you were commuting into Toronto, you can get on the GO train or the VIA, it's right across Victoria. For expressway access, at the east end of Central Frederick is the Conestoga Parkway, so from here you could get to the 401 in probably 15 minutes. If you're into public transit, there's bus routes running through the area, and the LRT is just down on Duke Street. So getting around is no problem at all. This the location makes it perfect for that. Now, talking about things to do in Central Frederick. You've got, if you know you like sports, you've got the auditorium complex. They've got skating in there. You can watch a hockey game. There's baseball diamonds, a running track, soccer pitches. Uh, if your kids are into skateboarding, they've got a little skateboard park there. You've also got Rockway Golf Course if you're a golfer. That's really close, you know. Local public course, just perfect. Other choices downtown would include Victoria Park. It's, you know, hop, skip and a jump away. It's just beautiful. You've got as well for nightlife, you've got anything along King Street for, you know, for your dining or bars. You've got center in the square, the symphony. So there's really no shortage at all of things to do. And this downtown uh, location of this neighborhood makes it perfect for getting to these events. Now talking about your grocery stores, Central Frederick, you've got you know, all those specialty kind of stores you're gonna find on King Street. Like for example, New City Supermarket for Asian, T&J Seafoods for uh, seafood up on Elm Street. And of course, you know, you've got more, your more mainstream stores as well. There's a Value Mart at Frederick Plaza. You've got Central Fresh Market up on King. There's as well, Waterloo Town Square, there's a Value Mart. And you've got three Zareses if you go to the south, two of them on Ottawa and one on Weber. So no shortage of getting groceries at all in this neighborhood. And again, a lot of it's walkable. Now, let's talk about the school system. For your Catholic board, you've got two schools. JK to 8 at St. Anne's, and then your high school is St. Mary's down on Homer Watson. For public schools, for JK to 6, you've got Shepherd and Sudeby. Your senior public is Cortland Avenue, and then your high school is Cameron Heights. Okay, let's talk about the housing in Central Frederick. So the stuff nearer the core uh, to the, you know, to the west, a lot of that stuff's going to be you know, those good sized two stories that are three and four bedrooms. Those are typical, you know, brick construction, good sized homes. A lot of those in the core. And then, of course, you've got some condo developments as well, but those are more towards King Street. The newer stuff in this neighborhood to your east is going to be into the 1950s at the newest. And a lot of this stuff is going to be, you know, one story, one and a half story, and two story homes of, uh, you know, a more modern vintage. Anyways, Central Frederick, this is a great neighborhood if you're looking for a quiet neighborhood that's great for commuting and expressway and train access, as well as, you know, uh, public transit such as the LRT. It's also close to the action. You know, you've got that downtown feel if you want to get out and do stuff. Central Frederick is a perfect neighborhood for that. That's all I got for today. Thanks so much for watching the video and have yourself an awesome day.